Elephant Man Gardening Farm Network, where you reap what you sow, eat what you grow. Let's go! It's your man DB. What's going on? Like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell so you can know what's going on. I got the whole team in the building. Oh, she put a mask on now so she can be identified. That is the the mentor, Carmen. <laughs> and we got Sam. And we got Kayana in the building. Oh, she she looked up real sad. <laughs> so we up here, we trying to thin out this box right here. And oh, Bok Choy went crazy. Bok Choy is a brassica. He don't like a lot of heat. And and just a whole bunch of it. So we're going to let that go to seed. We're going to have seed for next season. Uh, anybody got anything to say? Well, the seeds are still maturing. But, you know, if you're not careful with it, overnight they'll just all explode and send their seeds everywhere at once. So Wow. Keep an eye on it. But, yeah, I mean, you get more than more than enough to get a crop going on there. And what I like to do is when the seeds mature and collectible, I'll plant some in the late summer or early fall because it will grow well into November. Cool. Even, I've had them grow into December before, actually, if it's a mild winter. Cool. I had greens coming, collard greens coming up, and it was snowing out. I couldn't believe it. My kale lived for two years. <laughs> they love the cold. Good too. Yeah, and then this is my turnip greens right here. I got to thin that out, That's harvest some of that today. And then the peppers right here, uh, trying to put some fertilizer on that so they can grow. So that. And what's all contained is all right here, a little bit on our arms. We got some water. While you're adding, mixing those two. Yeah, so we're going to take this hay over to the tower. And we're going to pour just a little bit of water in here to just keep it from flying all over the place. Just a nice, healthy drenching just to weight it down a bit. And we're gonna save some of this water because as we put hay down in there, we're gonna water it as we create the layers of hay and dirt and plants, hay, dirt, and plants, okay? It's starting to rise. Soil, I'm sorry, soil. All right, so we're gonna start with the hay. And if you can see right here, we're gonna go up to about the second layer here. And uh, what we'll do is we pack it in. We're gonna clear out a hole in the center and fill that with soil. Thank you, sir. Thank you, kindly. And it helps if you have a wingspan of 74 inches, unlike me. Sam has the wingspan of a... I get to know the edge very well. <laughs> Here's a shot for you. At least it's yours and not mine. There you go. So we're going to do probably another layer, but as you can see, Sam is making sure we have that donut in the on middle. On my tippy toes. Yeah, just a little light there. Be good. Oh, hold on, that's more than a little. You see how easy it, it wants to fly away from us? That's why we did the water. It goes uh, quicker when you know what you're doing, right? Yeah, absolutely. After you've done it a few times. Now, next, our next layer, because we're making a lasagna here. So we start with the hay, and then we're going to go with the soil um, compost mixture. So today we have some soil from a local community. Um, so we're just going to dump it out. We're going to add this soil. bag of mushroom compost to it. We're not going to use the entire bag because of the richness of it. But we will mix it together pretty well. Just to make sure that one, we're being fed, um, regardless of what layer we're on. And we're going to do about half the bag, I think. And I think that's about half. And then we'll go ahead and mix this other bucket. Oh, take out any extras that will not help the plant to grow. Stuff. And we're just going to mix this up real good. Look for any 
anything that does not belong, such as plastics or waste. Give her a real good looking through, sift it a bit. And then once we're done, we're going to begin adding the soil into the tower. So, here is our handy shovel. We're going to do the first round, sure. Sam. I'll take the second. Sure. Yeah, and you want to just be careful not send it flying everywhere. Like I just did there. Oh, so it's going in the middle of that circle. Middle, and then we'll we'll just cover the top okay. a little bit. And one thing that's important to note is that this is straw. There is a difference between hay and straw. Hay is actually green, and it's oak glass grass clippings, whereas straw is just straw. So mm, we got this bag of yeah. straw um, at our local big box store. Um, it is very reasonably priced. Soil, you can source that just like you would for any other garden. And um, we're going to use clippings from strawberries that are already growing in the garden. So, um, as you can see, we're just making a nice even layer of soil. Um, we're going to give it a little bit of water. So, as we put the clippings on. Yeah, throw some water and then I'll put one more thin layer of soil Thank on you, there. sir. You need some more water. Got a water hose. We'll get some. Thank you. Looking good. And then we'll go ahead and throw a little bit more soil in there. Any more water? No, it's okay. So we'll get that spread around and then we need the clipping. I will be right back with the clipping. After we Oh, she had... Sam, Making a strawberry tower out of hay, with the strawberry clippings from a strawberry yeah, plant. I'll let you put those in there. So, yeah, I'm gonna go get in shape. placement is very important, uh, no matter what you're putting in a vegetable tower, okay? You want to make sure um, that number one, we're going to put three clippings on each row of the lasagna. So, um, I'm gonna pull this one out. It's important that these um, face, so that they can get sunlight, just like you would any other plant. We're gonna put them in the soil, and then we're gonna let the leaves hang out a bit. So, um, I'm actually gonna put them through the wire, just like this. Because we're gonna layer on top of these, I'm just gonna put a little dirt on top to hold it in place for right now. And we're gonna make a triangle design with these. Because when it comes to the next layer, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna alternate. So I'm gonna put, I have one here. I'm gonna come 33 degrees over. Put one here. Cover it up. I'm not as tall as Sam is. And then I'm gonna put one over there. Now this is a new technique we just learned yesterday over at um, the Sojourner Truth House, which is a local um, women's shelter. Um, and so we wanna make sure we thank them and their staff for showing us the technique. So next we're going to layer again with hay. We're going to do a donut of hay around the edges and we're going to water it down again. And as this gets taller, I'm not short, although it feels like I'm short. <laughs> I'm on an incline, so it's not really working with me that well. Um, Thank you kindly, sir. And remember, it's important to have that donut hole in the middle. We want soil touching soil, 
We want an opportunity yeah. for the roots to be able to grow up and through. Mm. We want them to be well moisturized and fed just like you would if they were in a regular garden bed. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's just important that even though this is growing vertically, you want to make sure you pay special attention to it. You water it regularly. As it rains, this will start to combat, compact down. Wow. Um, and so it's important to keep it hydrated at all times. And even once we finish today, if Damien comes back out next week, it's gonna it'll shrink already. It will shrink. So we've done the next layer of hay. We're gonna do another layer of uh, of the soil next, soil compo uh, compost mix next. And we're gonna repeat this probably two more times for a total of three layers. Yeah, and whatever, how long our supplies last. Yeah, and then we'll get you a picture at the end. So this is our finished product of our uh, strawberry tower. As you can see, we've made five levels. So like I said, it's a lasagna bed. So we started with straw in a donut hole. We followed that up with some dirt. And then in the dirt, we put in the strawberry plants, um, the transplants that we have. We did another layer of the uh, donut hole uh, straw, followed by soil. We alternated the position of the plant, so, uh, straw, soil, plant. So as you can see, we've allowed space in between the plants to be able to grow and vine and move throughout this. Now, as this goes along, as it's watered, as the sun dries the straw out, this will compact down. But you have to remember to keep it watered. Keep it watered. That middle will get dry, that soil will get dry, your plants will die. So make sure that you give this water. Um, from top to the sides, as much as you can, especially from the top to make sure it gets down through that soil. And that's why we have that soil in the middle so that it can, that water can uh, run on down. So um, we've sprayed it probably six times a day. We sprayed each layer, we sprayed the straw, um, and we got them put in there good and solid. Um, one thing, like I said, there's a difference between straw and hay. So if you remember, mm. hay is the grass clipping, straw is just straw. Mm. The other thing, we have interchangeably used dirt and soil. This is actually all soil. Uh, dirt is what comes in the ground. Soil has been amended in some way. So we have a mixture of uh, soil, uh, container soil, I mean garden soil with um, mushroom compost. Um, but we've also added some other things. So as this grows, it should flourish, okay? If you see the gardens behind me, the beautiful gazelle gardens behind me, uh, this is just the area where things grow and flourish. They're well fed, they're well watered. We expect nothing less than that from this. So we'll continue to keep you updated as this grows, uh, grows um, and it'll compress so you'll get pictures from throughout. So, uh, Sam, was there anything else before we close out? No, I just think it looks like a big old cake or something. <laughs> a truffle, right? Yeah, a truffle. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, and a punch bowl cake or something like that. I'm going to go home and do one now. Yeah. So, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. If there's nothing else, if you have any questions, feel free to reach us at City Cultivators or at GaryHeartSavers at gmail.com. That's right. Thanks so much. You have a great day. Woo. You guys